Welcome back, folks. Welcome back. Yes, I've been having a lot of fun playing Room World with you fine folks. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. It's been good. If we paint the floors green, we won't have to look at vomit anymore. <laughs> Perfect. You know what? That's a pretty good idea. We can paint things now. We can paint the floors a nice vomit green. <laughs> Is <laughs> putting dirt on the rug, but taking it to the extreme. <laughs> Might as well paint the hospital red. <laughs> then you can't tell if it's dirty though. That's such a bad idea. You want to you want to know that if it's like covered in blood and whatnot, so that you tell people to clean it. But like, I like the idea of like painting the hospital blue or something though. I want to. I haven't done it yet. Oh, oh, you need dyes. You need like a dye stuff. How do you make that then? Dyes grow on the tinctoria plant. Oh, it's a plant you grow. Oh, I'm kidding. Tinctoria. Growing time two days. That's pretty fast. I'll grow a little bit, see what it looks like. Oop, maybe they'll just look like cute little flowers. They're a fan of, often a fan of white in hospitals for that reason. Yeah, you want to you know if it's dirty, eh? Here we go, it's been cranky along here. Richard is level 7 in social. He was successfully calmed down. Uh, Richard successfully calmed down Boss Hard Cheese. Oh, yo! Snapped him out of it. Great. He's big sulking from that party earlier. He was sulking because everyone was having a party when when he was upset about something. How dare they? <laughs> That's such like a real thing. Such a real vibe, eh? <laughs> My plan is to take these walls out and let the Great Hall be truly great. This whole area. This whole area. <laughs> you can grow some Tinctoria, yes, but hear me out. What if instead you grow some Psychoid? <laughs> we already have to keep our dwarves permanently somewhat drunk. <laughs> Looks like we, uh... Not actually have... We don't actually have full kegs at the moment. Which makes the door the Darby nervous. We do have 130 beer on tap. Uh, so, ready to go. How goes the production of the altar? Whew, slowly. I'm surprised my people haven't asked for it yet. Usually they get a bit needy about that sort of stuff. Like, we haven't got our altar. We don't have our various people. Like, we've only we've only so far elected a, um, like, the, the runecaster. We don't have a uh, king or queen yet. Pro probably because we only have four adult people. <laughs> Are we? So, that might be it. Stone Singer, mining six, mining speed plus 70%. Disabled work. Handle, cook, construct, grow, plant, cut, smith, tailor, craft. These roles like mining specialist and production specialist and stuff are really cool, but with our small number of people right now, it's not really viable because of the amount of work that it disables. Production specialist gives construction, labor speed, and crafting. You can do crafting. Um, handle, cook, grow, mine, plant, cut, whole queen. So you get like a specialist at some point. Who fulfills this role? Yeah, I don't know about the mining specialist being worth it. I don't know if you need that much mining. <laughs> we already mine so fast. Forge Master will be great though. We'll definitely get that sometime. Having a really good craft person to make like armor and weapons. And uh, high-end furniture and things like that. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I mean, this is if you're going to have a map where you have someone dedicated to mining, I mean, this could potentially be it, but uh, <laughs> it's not really necessary currently. Doom, doom, doom. Whoa! Oh, we were in it in... Wow, it's so bright all of a sudden. <laughs> we were in an eclipse, I forgot. All of a sudden, power! Oh my god, it's so bright in my eyes. It must have been eclipsed for quite a while there. Maybe we were running out of meals. Man, all these extra laborers have actually been working really well for us. It's been quite quite the help. Oh! Already another raid, that was quick. Tribe of Byroar. More of the uh, raccoon dog people. We got a revolver. Volt action rifle, both poor quality and a machine pistol, which can be a little dangerous. They aren't too good of shots at least. Alright, I think we can handle them. 
Let's get everyone into position, though. I think Sorabria can still fight. Oh, she's carrying a baby while drafted. Put the baby down. Wave Thrash. Revolver. Come on over. Liger. Bow. Welcome to the red carpet, yeah. <laughs> We're getting the red carpet welcome here. We'll stun the auto pistol one, probably. Where'd they go? Oh, they're going for the, uh, the nest. Wait, is there a nest up here? Or are they going around? Oh, they might be trying to flank us. I don't see a nest. Okay, that means the machine pistol one is uh, in the bolt action and not in the fight. That's great. Does Diggsy get a bonus cover for- <laughs> Look at her with the machine pistol! <laughs> so cute! <laughs> is she get a cover bonus? Yeah, well this is this would be half cover in D&D. If this was D&D, I'd give her three quarters cover because she's like half the size. <laughs> Where do the others go? I'm very suspicious about this flanking attempt that's going on. I'm guessing they're gonna go try and beat these doors down. We should put some traps in this tunnel to dissuade this in the future. Okay, everybody's not currently shooting. Come over this way. Leave those two to deal with woe. Take up battle stations over here. This might be a bit dangerous for Dixie. We do want the weight of firepower though. Let's bring her over here. We have the stun. They drop the door. I'll stun the bolt action for a bit. Duck 19 died. Did you kill the Come on, kill one of our ducks? <laughs> they did kill one of our ducks. I would have got or, or was it us? Bolt action rifle. Strawberry has bolt action rifle. <laughs> Strawberry, now's not the time to hunt. Light Wraith tried to convert Blast Hard Cheese to the ideology. <laughs> now's the <laughs> If you were a Dawi, you'd have tough stone skin like us. It's not how it works, but that's what they told. That's what they told him. You guys brought that woe one down yet? Oh yeah, keep going. Richard, come up over here. What's the range on your auto pistol? Serbia is injured. Let's go ahead and get you out of the fight. To the hospital, please. Uh, shotgun is not in range, which is a problem. They're not shooting at you. I'll get you up to flank. Get them blast. Ah, shit. I think a lot more fire here than I wanted. Diggsy's not even in range. Okay, that one dropped. How are they still fighting? Surprising. Here we go, leveled up shooting. This cover is a problem. Let's push. Done. Eat it.
Yes. Oh, all right. Good work, team. Okay. And they brought us seven meals. Nice. A few, a few new guns. Digsy's gonna come out and try and finish off Woe. <laughs> Get him, Digsy! This is good practice. <laughs> she's gonna be a she's gonna be a combat leader. <laughs> Six-year-old child running after him with a machine pistol. Only funny in Rimworld. Headshot! Oh my lord! Don't let him get away. Go deal with the furry, Digsy. <laughs> Stay away from my mountain home! Nice. On the way to the next level. You can probably stay there. One of the ducks died in the crossfire. No! So sad. Don't need any of that. Last night, cheese is just having, having a chillax over there, I see. The ducks are eating my meals, no. Get them into... Get them hauled inside. Alright, well, let's see if everyone's getting tended to. Kiwi girl's tended. Tended, tended. Getting tended. Okay, good. Sorry, but it took a bit more damage than I'd like. In that fight, not ideal. Wait for Ash, is going to the hospital now. I don't know, you might actually be able to recruit the Itakin. Um, yeah, I think you actually can. The Impids you can't. Um, they're, uh, they have like a, a trait that makes it unrecruitable, which is a thing now. <laughs> yeah, the... Uh, the Dawi are a hospitable bunch, but uh, they're a little racist. <laughs> a little bit thin. <laughs> it's a smidge. To them, it might be more like xenophobia, I guess. Um, they're quite diverged, but they uh, they adopt the Digsy because they see the Dawi. They see the Dawi within her soul. She may not look like one of them, but she she fights like one of them. She fights better than most of them. <laughs> <laughs> and she 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 brews she brews ale like one of them. So before that raid, I was thinking, hmm, we should I should uh, start getting a bit more ser serious about uh, our security structures. So while they're doing whatever they're doing, we're just gonna play our smidge. A door here. And There'll be this door, and a door here. So that we can like pop out and shoot, and then having a... Maybe like a pair of doors here-ish in the middle. Oh, insulting spree, blast hard cheese, that's not okay. Can you calm him down? Here we go, before he insults Scrobri a bunch. She's just trying to she's just trying to feed her baby right now. <laughs> Leave him alone. <laughs> Come on, Kiwi gal. You can do it. You've been working on your social skills. Yeah, I'm here for you. Tell me what's bothering you. I'm listening. Woo! Good work. And you should think in like terms of like, what can we implement quickly? And traps in the tunnel? And an extra layer of doors? So things we can implement quite quickly. An extra trap here. Something we can also do quite quickly. I think we want to... This is just awkward, so we, I think we want to get rid of it. Will enemy AIs not go through double doors? Oh, they still will, but it uh, is another layer of defense, right? It, it, it'll, it'll take them longer. We can potentially be in one door, shooting at them as soon as they burst down one door, and then pull back. Visitor! A butcher from Sailor, a Cyborg Coalition is visiting the colony. She's named Gotraskaga Wolverine. <laughs> 
What a name! Oh my lord. She's got something to train. Who's our better social person again? I forget. Oh, Richard. Richard. We haven't had any, like, trade caravans. Probably because we were in the mountains. I wonder if that's actually a thing because we're, like, in the mountains. It's hard for them to get to us. We can sell out a few of the crappy weapons we don't need. Um, what, do you have anything I want? I might buy you a pemmican, to be honest. You have a bearskin top hat. <laughs> so fancy. <laughs> so fancy. You can have the old kids' clothes. Get rid of that. We're starting to actually profit from our beer a little bit. Yoink. Take your money, thanks. Great. Last colony was a giant drug factory. Problem with that was I became too rich too fast, so Randy just wiped me out with big ass raids. <laughs> yes, having your wealth go nuttily out of control because of uh, a hugely profitable industry. It's like, yeah, if you can spend the money on things that are um, useful wealth, like the things that make your colonists stronger, things that help you kill raids, then it's super, super good, but if it's just like sitting there and you've got like 10,000 silver just sitting in your thing, it's just like the raiders are just like, <laughs> I'm gonna come and get that. <laughs> We're gonna come and get that. She's time for raid size instead of wealth. I, I think I like the wealth scaling more. The time for raid size option is an interesting alternate mode though you can try. So, this is now considered the Hearthstone. And that should still be fine. I don't think that's a problem. Yeah, great. Get rid of this ritual square. Now, can you move it? Oh god, you can't move it. <laughs> well, it's here now. <laughs> it ain't going anywhere. <laughs> oh no. One, two, one, two. At least it's in the middle. Oh, I didn't put it somewhere super stupid. There is a mod that lets you minify everything and move them around. I can uh, get that if it becomes too much of a problem. <laughs> the Duck 21 has started to roam away. Oh, because the door's destroyed. Uh, we need to get that fixed right now. Consume. Oh, I don't have any steel. Well then, that needs to be a wooden door. Inner doors being wood is kind of fine anyway. We have, uh, don't we have Molotov cocktails now? I'm pretty sure we looted some Molotovs at some point. Oh, they're still over here. Oops, I made him have a beer. All right, we'll have a beer first, I guess. <laughs> You're about to do some grim work, I suppose. Nice throw, nice throw. A bit better. There we go. You have the quest for the next stuff now, right? I do, yeah. So there's a quest down here to go get this mechanical complex. Um, we might, it's possible that we might be like strong enough to go, send some people to go deal with that. I just don't know really who. Like, it's not like we have any fighters. I just, I don't know what it's going to be there, eh? We can't send any of these people. So we only have four adults. So is this a classroom now? It is a classroom. Awful quality classroom. <laughs> it needs a clean. The visitors can take over your colony. I mean, watch your colony while you're gone. <laughs> okay, you go have a rest. There's another Parker. So, Richard put a uh, plain leather parker on. Good, good, good. A little bit more protected as well. Wave Thrash started a social fight with Antari. Some he didn't he didn't want to hear your shit. <laughs> what, are these guys, what are they wearing? Cloth sashes. Man, this looks like a brutal fight. Oh my god, Wave Thrash is getting mangled. Wow. Oh yeah, we need... Uh, but get them to put those guns down, don't we? Boys. <laughs> How you doing, Wave Thrush? You're not looking so good, mate. <laughs> You're not looking so good. Also, this place is filthy. We need to put Digsy back on cleaning. As soon as Digsy stops the cleaning action, she's, uh, nothing... Everything's filthy again. Well, let's try and send Strobria and Light Wraith to the Mechanitor Complex, then. Um... Oh, we do have some sculptures. We got... Antares Honesty. The sculpture bears the illustration of Fabia Antares Bardanes uh, drudging through a snow and shivering uncontrollably. Five shivering salamanders surround the scene. <laughs> shivering, shivering salamanders sit slappily surrounding the scene. 
Dozens of goblins appear beneath the main subject. The work is infused with the idea of hostility and is done in an abstract style. The image tells the story of Antares freezing to death. Wait. On the 3rd of December, Antares froze to death? <laughs> Wait, what? It's a hypothetical freezing to death. Antares seems quite a liar here, alive here to me. What the? Why did he make an artwork about himself freezing to death? Also represented in game by a chicken. <laughs> That's so... What? What on earth? Well, I'm going to put that chicken art there. And this one is parabolic for camaraderie. This work depicts a hamlet. Almost every shape in the image seems to be static. I mean, it is a sculpture after all. Just saying. Just saying it's a sculpture. <laughs> so, yeah, I think I might try and send Light Wraith and Scrobia. Scrobia, Scrobia. To, uh... Check out the Mechanotor complex. Um, let's just have a little bit of a look. That's it there, I'm pretty sure. Yep. One day. Thankfully, it actually doesn't take too long. Um, so. Wait, who was I sending? Strawberry and Light Wraith. Now, does Crappy speed them up? Yes. Two simple meals. So we got the package, some package survival meals. They're not taking it though, weirdly. Get a package survival meal. 2.6 days of food. Take some herbal meds. And take a bit more fungus, eh? I don't want to run out of food. Alright, I think we're going to go for it. They'll need beer. True, they will need beer. I didn't even think of that. It's not included under the travel supplies. <laughs> you have a couple beers. <laughs> but it'd be around two days, so two beers each. We'll make it six to be safe. Um, We need to give that Parker to... I almost, I almost screwed up bad here. So every, uh, go equip this Parker before you go. Light Wraith is fine. Mine is 50 to 40. So every just needs that and then you're good. Okay. Here we go and Richard will hold down the fort alongside uh, all of our guests. Hopefully the guests don't betray us. <laughs> oh God. Please don't betray us while we're gone. Please don't betray us while we're gone. Okay, it's going to take a little while to... Uh, Load up the caravan. There they go. Alright. Rock speed to y'all. <laughs> Mountain strength. Rock and stone. Rock and stone. Investigate ancient Mechanitor complex. Oh, we're going to check it out. We're going to roll out. <laughs> Rock's time to roll out. <laughs> Time to cut down the timber shroom. Timber shroom. The uh, the Agarilux is light keeping is keeping the guest quarters lit up. <laughs> they have a natural source of light in there. Quite funny. Bloop 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 bloop. bloop. You do all my fresh. You ever get treated? You did nice. All right, let's keep it going. Working on relaxing socially by herself. Go back to work. <laughs> Got a lot of building that we need doing. Um, build a door there and there. Building marble lectern. When they get back, we might be able to have one of those rituals to summon the insect jelly from the stone. There we go, marble lectin. Wholly unnecessary for it be to marble, but uh, it is a very impressive uh, hearthstone temple now. So now, if we were to uh, begin the hearth feast, 
It's uh, gone up quite a bit. Started an altar, lectern. Uh, you do need the leader present. We don't have a leader yet, currently. Um, and ideally they want pews as well, stone pews. So I'm not sure. We probably won't worry about that just yet. A lot of other work to be done. Drinking a beer. Oh, what about now? The art's in there as well. Ooh. Very impressive. Somewhat rich. I can't decide whether it's a hearthstone or a temple. <laughs> it keeps changing its mind. <laughs> Look at that triple door. Doom, 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 doom. Holy marble blocks to the wall. Good, good, good. Solar flare. Good heavens. We have our granite blocks now. A uh, good chunk of them at least. So much marble. How's our traveling going? Estimated time till complex, 0 0.3 days. I wonder if they camp at night despite their sleeping schedule being uh, the other way around. In before they're like super jet lagged when they get there. Because of because the game changes over their sleeping schedule. How are we doing on steel now? Oh, well, we've got 1,100 steel. Where did all that come from? I thought we had no steel. I was like being careful with it. We have so much. Excuse me? What on earth? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Was it still just not in stockpiles? I guess so, maybe. <laughs> I don't know where it was. Or maybe it just finally hauled over all the steel from over here. Um, probably don't need to harvest more just now then. But we should definitely get using it on various things. I am going to micromanage the shit out of Kiwi Girl right now. <laughs> I'm an awful boss. <laughs> she's like, she's like, it's bedtime. Nope, get back to work. Wave Thrash is binging on Go Juice. There's literally one Go Juice in the colony and you just wasted it. Those are really helpful in combat. And now it's making him unhappy because he used a recreational drug. <laughs> Very nice. Uh, now, zone, just make sure this is roofed. And we can put another battery in. The hospital is actually lit up now. Change, yes, and it's on dark light and the got a heater. Looks like the uh, heater's even reaching the classroom. Uh, wait. Is it? 21, 18, 16, 15. Yeah, because it's like 11 degrees otherwise. It's not quite enough. We probably need another heater in that row. It's not your fault. Calm down a little late though. Go to bed on <laughs> go to bed high on go juice. <laughs> Zoom! Go juice is so good in uh, like combat emergency situations. 50% move speed, 35% sight, which improves their aim. Increased consciousness, I don't think, does the same thing. Oh! It's time. Here we go. I have no idea what to expect here. This We got this quest really early, so it's probably nothing. I was just super paranoid about it because we have such low combat skills. Normally I have at least one good combat person, but... Let's see. So there's a complex here. Do either of you have construction? Uh, deconstructing is fine. Sorbury does. What do we know? Not much. Wonder if it's like the more archetypical complex. How are you guys doing need wise? You're pretty comfy. Let's go. I probably should have given one of them a uh, machine pistol in case for close, close quarters uh, fighting. I mean, there might be literally nothing in here. Sometimes there is nothing, but there might also be a couple insects or something. And that could be problematic. So, Strobria, take up a position here. Light Wraith, you come and open the door. Hold open. 
Ancient Crypto Sleeps pod. Hmm. Suspicious. These slow limestone doors. Unstable fuel node. Here's what we do for that. So we're going to deconstruct that. If this catches on fire, we don't want that room to heat up to boiling temperature. So we'll get Sorobria to deconstruct a wall. And then you come over here. Opens a room full of centipedes. Ah! <laughs> okay, so there's just another unfable stable fuel cell in there, which we'll just close this door and that'll be fine. So it's just this thing. If we put Sorobria here. Oh, there goes that. Out you go. Out you go. Not <laughs> big an explosion, is it? Maybe it's just a friendly mechanator that will help us, or maybe we have to kill them and take it. I don't know. Stug was a Mechanitor. You can remove his mech link and use it on a colonist. Oh, he's not going to be fun. He's not going to be causing any problems. <laughs> he's not going to be causing any problems at all. <laughs> Extract mech link. Ho ho ho. Oh. Strip him. Synthread duster. Tainted. Hmm, too bad our people do care about painted clothes. We'll take that go juice and we'll get out of here. Load go juice, load this. Alright, great! It was, so we could have done this like as soon as we got it. <laughs> but you never know, they might, there could have been a bunch of bugs here. <laughs> we'll uh, reform the caravan and then that'll be quite fine. Um... There could have been a bunch of bugs or something here. Or robots. Angry, angry robots. We'll just make sure they take the go juice. Wait, the go juice is coming. Yep. Ah, uh, you can take the steel, I guess. Do, do, do. Stug collector. No. Where's the mech link? I don't see the mech link there. I just want to make sure we don't leave it behind. So we'll let him load it up manually. Okay. Should be on board. Who's the third item on the list? Oh, I missed it. All right, cool. Oops, oops, hold on. What are we doing here? Reform caravan, that way. Off we go. Take that. You can take the steel, that's fine. Take the, take that stuff. I don't really need the urns. Steel table, not really. Take the package survival meal and go. Go on and get yourselves home. A canator casket found. Stug's mech link available. You have found the corpse of an ancient mechanator. Extract his mech link by selecting the corpse and right clicking the corpse. Ooh, I wonder who's going to become our mechanator then. Hmm. <gasps> I wonder if uh, any skills are kind of necessary for it. But uh, I wonder if Richard could become the mechanator. Rune caster. In smithing? Well, Richard has crafting skill. That'd be fine. So Richard, Richard is the uh, rune caster, basically like a seer. But I like the idea that um, that might overlap a little bit with like crafting and stuff. Pick a crafter. He's got five crafting and a minor passion, which is not super high, but it, he could certainly grow it. Kiwi, I'm worried Kiwi Girl does too much already, so I don't think I want to give it to Kiwi Girl. And I don't know about the others. Not sure about the others. Give it to the new baby. <laughs> a little young for that. Level 15 in construction. Oh, that construction skill. Good heavens. Look at her go. Just cranking along. Building some more spike traps. Hauling wood to more spike traps. Great. That needs to go. Ooh, borks. Mm -hmm. 
when we uh, go to apply it, it might have some more information as well. So we'll see when they come back about that. Let me just, uh, one sec. Delay the Twitch ads. Feeding baby food. Here we go, setting up the other perimeter defenses. Great. Um, why don't you finish that? Instead of feeding the guy in the hospital, someone else can do that. Apparently, uh, no one else wants to do it though. Looks like we've got a lot of wood in here. 1500 wood. Yep. It's good that we're burning it on spike traps then. there. Any other like super great places for it? For now that's fine I think. Probably putting one over here or something would be quite nice. Use a few of the natural terrain sections to uh, place them all. Do 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 do. We we'll want to uh, clean out that as well. Probably that bit there too, just to prevent some cover. How y'all going? Crossing the river? Bring us home a fish. Marble small sculpture, Richard's Day. This carving represents Richard Dickinson gazing into the distance with a tranquil smile. Dozens of terrorists are awestruck by the scene. The scene takes place in the middle of a township. The modern style of the central scene clashes with the unoriginal depiction of the background. Hmm, shallow and pedantic. This representation tells the story of Richard meditating on the 4th of December. Sometimes they pick the most like boring random things. <laughs> Why? Why do you do this? Um, where will we put... I wonder if art like helps the learning or anything like that. It doesn't seem to connect to it specifically. We could boost the morale of people in the hospital. There's... Some people spend a lot of time in there. We gotta mind that idea. What's the beauty on that thing? 68? Not super high. Enough to help. That's such a that's such a great meditation that one time that I uh, it wasn't even his he didn't even make the thing about his own meditation someone else crafted a sculpture um and last hard cheese crafted a sculpture about Richard meditating <laughs> were they like standing in the hallway watching them or something just like peeking through a door looking through a keyhole watching them meditate like a weirdo very strange very strange. <laughs> Here they come. They're coming back. You love my guest room? It's so good, eh? <laughs> I don't know what I'm actually going to do with that space yet. <laughs> We're starting, we're starting to figure it out. Hey, this is done. Here we go, I'll move a bit in here. <laughs> is it weird to have the bed around that way? I kind of like it. Furniture, marble, end table. Oh. Bleep, 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 bleep. Caravan arrived. Woo! Come on back and unload. Whoa! A spacecraft almost fell on them. <laughs> what the? That's not okay. Oops. That's not okay at all. It's snowing, but it's 10 degrees outside. That's a very warm snow. Wouldn't that just be rain? 
<laughs> Maybe I guess it's cold enough and it's like melting as it falls, just like when you have hail, but like it's basically melted by the time it hits the ground. Interesting. That person needs to be gotten rid of. One sec. Beep -a -doo. Delaying Twitch's ads. Wonder if it can fall on someone? I'm pretty sure it can. Just like you, ducks can get struck by lightning. <laughs> so, Light Wraith has five crafting, and otherwise mostly digs and plants. Could be an interesting option for Makato. Sorobria doesn't really have crafting skills, so if that's the th if that's the defining feature, then it might not be a good option. We need to unload the uh, thing. Where it has unloading. Unload crappy. I also need shearing too. Let's see where you put that. Can you unload like properly? Oh, blast hard Jesus was going to do it for me. Why are the ducks inside? <laughs> oh, they must have hatched. <laughs> There's some eggs in the <laughs> put on the shelf. They just put fertilized eggs on the shelves and then they hatched and it's like, wait, where did these ducklings come from? Cheep, 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 cheep. All right. The eggs. <laughs> yeah, look, there's good fight of the five. We're gonna pop out soon. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> you wanna rope those ducks and take them outside? <laughs> there's no food for them in here. Oh, look at those cute Tinctoria flowers. I don't really need these beds here, they're just for emergencies. <laughs> so, yeah, animals sleep wherever you want. So I'm thinking, I'm b I think I'm back to my original idea of, uh, of Richard. Is that mech link here for me to have a look at? See how it works. Psyker and mech mechanist. It's interesting. Uh, someone must have brought the mech link out. I don't know where it is. <laughs> it's a little hard to find stuff in here. <laughs> There's a search tool I mod that I have the object feature, but it's not updated yet. I need uh, I need that. It's very helpful for searching for things. Well, I would. Oh, there it is. I found it. <laughs> Install mech link to become a camator. Hmm. Mech link installed. Richard has installed a mech link. He is now a mechanator. Sounds too much like janitor to me, but that's actually pretty accurate because we're going to probably make cleaning robots. <laughs> Sorry, we'll be a mech janitor. You can create and control mechanoids. Research basic mech tech to get started. Creating mechs. Your mechanitor can create mechs at a production building called a mech gestator. Mechanitors can control as many mechs in their total band as their total bandwidth allows. Select Richard and look at his bandwidth readout to see how much bandwidth he is currently using and has available. It can be increased with certain apparel and by building band node buildings. Mechanitors control mechs in groups. Each control group can be set to one of these modes. Work, escort, recharge, dormant self-charge. To learn more about what each mode does, so select the work mode icon, one of Rich's control groups, mm -hmm, and hover over different work orders. Cool, about threat calling. Mechanitors can single, signal ancient leader mechs to attack in order to obtain rare items from them. You must do this to improve your mechanical or pass certain limits, but beware of danger. Ooh. Fascinating. We don't have any mechs currently. We don't just automatically get one. <laughs> Summon mech threat. Summon an enemy leader mechanoid along with escorts. If you defeat the leader mechanoid, it will drop a special chip which you can use. Oh, so you like summon it to attack you. Oh. Oh, okay. Cannot summon Diabolus Threat, War Queen Threat, uh, Apocriton Threat. So there's like three bosses you can go for. Wow, okay. Um, oh, you can click this and it tells you what's in there. Steel, Granite, Go Juice. Oh, I see. You can just select the shelf and it tells you what's in it. That's cool. That's a cool feature. Thanks for that. So we're currently researching geothermal power and we need smithing after that. Um, where is the Mechanitor stuff then? Basic mech tech is actually a pretty easy research to- What the?! My storage! <laughs> what 
the? A robot crashed down from space in a drop pod through the mountain, collapsing. <laughs> Is everyone all right? Uh, we just lost some of our storage supplies, that's for sure. Oh god, whatever was in there is now destroyed. <laughs> what on earth? Okay. It wasn't a cave-in. This constructoid went pew, pew, and crashed in. <laughs> what the? Oh no. Okay, I have, some, I have a pro tip for you all. Install the Mechanitor implant outside. <laughs> Do it outside. <laughs> Great. That's hilarious. Oh my god. Overseer Richard. Okay, we got a Constructo bot. Yo! We got a Constructo bot. A Constructo has dropped from orbit and is placing it. So you automatically get one, which is really neat, but um, I wish I hadn't done it in my storage room, though. I bet that happens really often because most people would probably install it in their storage room because that's where the item is. <laughs> so <laughs> that's quite funny. Oh no. Rule storage, thank you very much for the raid, mate. Welcome, folks. Welcome, folks. We're not playing for too much longer today, but we just got the Mechanitor implant. And uh, this is a little bit of a spoiler, but we installed it in our storage room. And it were underneath a mountain, so it crashed through the mountain in a drop pod, collapsing a part of the mountain and crushing a section of our storage room. <laughs> so... <laughs> That, we, I don't know what, what was there, but it's gone. I'm pretty sure there was some fertil- Oh, the ducks! The little duck eggs only just survived! There's five fertilized duck eggs ready to hatch here. They only just survived. Oh god, it destroyed so many of our shelves. That was great. I'm like, yeah, I'll just install this. And that probably happens all the time, because you can install in your, in your storage area, because that's where the thing is. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So we have our first control group and our first, first robot, and our robot is going to be named... Oh, wait. Let's see who it is. Bob. <laughs> Bob the Builderbot. Oh, it's Bob the Builderbot. Okay. All right. Perfect. Hi, Bob. <laughs> That's great. Thank you. Good, op good idea. Bob the Builderbot. Welcome. Good suggestion. <laughs> Look, it's already out here building a spike trap. I wonder what their building skill is like equivalent to. Oh, it has a slug thrower as well. A combat single shot slug thrower designed to be mounted on a light combat mechanoid. Um, 12 damage, 20 range. That's honestly okay. It's got a little gun. Combat. Oh. So can you like draft them and control them? Out of command range. Oh, only if you're in range. I wonder what his range is then. Oh, there you go. Okay, so they, ha they have to be kind of close to the Mechanitor. That's really cool, like summon of, summon of vibes, huh? They also have 50% global workspace. They're a bit slower. Yeah, but they don't... that's okay though, eh? Um, I'm guessing it has like a charge energy. I don't know how to recharge it yet, unless it can just plug into any conduit. There we go. Show me what you got, Bob. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, great. Pod's arrived. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, one sec. I know that. I know the pod's arrived. Yep. Thanks for that. Very good. Mech energy. 49% minus 10% per day. Effective, the mechanical will automatically repair this mechanoid. Repairing mechanoid drains its energy. Okay, but I mean, if it's damaged, we want to repair it, though. Select the mechanical who is... Select the mechanical who is the overseer of this mech. Right. That's it. Selects Richard. Select all mechs. Okay. All right. So I'm pretty sure I'll need the research to get a charger, right? Basic mech tech. Agrihand. So farming bots. Headset, Spacex Subcore, Constructoid, Control Pack, Lifter, Militor, Little Baby Fighters, and Carrying Robots. Is there a cleaner? I don't see a cleaner one. Band Node, Mech Gestator, Mech Recharger. So that'd be the thing we need. 
During recharge, this recharger produces toxic waste packs and stores them internally. Haulers must remove the waste packs from time to time. Yeah, we're gonna have to dump pollution somewhere. So we might want to get that sooner rather than later so it doesn't run out of energy because it building for us will be really helpful. Super cool. Cleaner and miner is next here. Ah, I see. Having another robot do construction for us is great. He's not super fast. Looks like he works about half. So he works half speed, eh? Global work speed. Oh, 40% even. Do, do, do. Base value. Oh, maybe because of the light. It actually, the light actually. What does he, what does he come pre install with a little torch? <laughs> yeah, hauler bots, cleaner bots. Oh, that's going to be great. Even if it's not really for combat, just having just having Richard have like things constructing and stuff for us is great. Covert compound examination. This is where we can get information about Mountain Sonder. Hmm. It has been suggested that there's information pertaining to Mountain Sonder in a complex, uh, which is being sought by the tribe of Byroar. So you send a shuttle to pick up our people and then take us there. So someone will actually shuttle us to that one. Which those are nice, because you can just shuttle there and shuttle back quite safely, even if people are injured or whatnot. You don't have to worry about the travel component. Usually you get a mixture of those. Some you have to travel, some you have to get shot some you can get shuttled for. So uh, that'll be something we can look at tomorrow. Do do. Might be uh wanting to get a little bit more combat equipped. <laughs> little robot. You just go, buddy. You do your thing. Even though it only only builds a couple things a day, it's building that my colonists don't have to do, and that's fantastic. And he's all lighting the lamp on his head so he can work in the light. <laughs> That's great. All right, folks. Sorry to leave you. I know some of you just, just arrived as well, but uh, it's quite late. I need some dinner. It's been a pleasure. It's been very fun. Excellent rim welding action. Uh, I'll be back on tomorrow playing all day once again. So uh, come join us then for some more rim world action. But uh, it's been a very fun day, folks. Lots of drama. Oh, man. So much drama today. And yet we pulled through without losing anyone. Miraculous. And there's a second baby on the way. A second baby. We're going to have three kids running around. That's crazy. And Diggsy is getting close to uh, aging up as well. Ooh, growth tier eight. Oh, choose three passions. Diggsy's been going nuts with the learning. What on earth? That's so exciting. All right, cool. But that will be more for next time. Folks, thanks very much for hanging out. I'm Ziggy D. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.